Hello everybody, it's me Reena and you're watching Rachel's Network. I hope you all are doing great. I'm sorry for not uploading videos so long but yes, I'm back with all new tricks of mathematics and today's video especially on the dot method division because I had a lot of queries and doubts on this particular video. So before starting the video, if you like my video, please do not forget to like and share with your friends and if you are new to my channel, please do subscribe and do not forget to hit the bell notification so that you get notified whenever I upload my next video. So without wasting time, let's move on to the video. So first of all, let's quickly revise the questions, the type of questions that we have already discussed. And if you want a detailed explanation of that, please do check the link. Link is given in the description box below. So first, let's do a direct question, which is very easy. So the first question is, 132 divided by 12 okay so this was the question so what we usually did was for one we drew one dot for three three dots and for two two dots correct and now one and two so one and two we have to divide with this number so how basically we have to group is like this that is one and in the next column 2. So we have to group it like this. That is in the first column you have to take 1 dot. And in the second column you have to take 2 dots and group them together. Okay. So this is the basic step which we followed in the dot method division. So let's solve this one. So in the first column we have 1 dot. And the second column yes we have 2 dots. So we will form one group. So one group is formed. Now you can see in this we have no remaining dots. So we move on to the next one. So in the next one, again from the starting, that is one dot in this column and two dots from the next column. Now you can see in the second column also all the dots have been completed and in the third column also all the dots have been completed. Now our next, that is the last step, how to write the answer? Yes, that is you have to count the number of beginnings. So in this column, first column, how many beginnings do you have? Only one beginning, correct? And in the second column, we have one beginning. This is the end of the other group, right? So the, in this also, we have only one beginning. And in the third, do we have any beginning? No, this is only the ending of this particular group. So basically, we have one beginning in this and one beginning in this. If that is, our quotient is this 11. And do we have any dots remaining which has to be joined? No, therefore, our remainder will be what? Zero, okay? So this is how we write the quotient for each question. So this was a very basic question. I hope it is clear for everyone. Please check the link. That is a detailed explanation. Okay. Now let's do the next question. That is 3025 divided by number 12. So for this question also, first step is same. That is we have to draw the number of dots. So for 3, we will draw 3 dots. 0, it doesn't have any value. So we leave the column blank as it is. For 2, we'll draw 2 dots and for 5, we'll draw 5 dots. Okay, so this step is very clear how many numbers we have. We have to make that many number of dots. Next is using 1 and 2, we have to group it. That is 1 and this is 2 and this is how you have to group it. That is in the first column, you have to take 1 dot and in the second column, you have to take 2 dots. Okay, so let's start grouping. That is, in this column, we have 1 dot. But do we have in our second column 2 dots? No, it was 0 and therefore it is blank. So in this type, we have already discussed these type of also. That is, if you don't have any dots in the next column, what you have to do? From this, you have to give 1 dot to the next one, right? And when you are giving this 1 dot, how many does it give? That is, 1 dot will represent 10 dots correct so in place of one dot when you're cancelling this and giving to the next column you have to draw how many dots in the next column 10 dots okay so let's give 10 dots 8 9 and 10 that is for each dots we are moving to the next column we have to represent it as 10 dots all right so now can we group yes that is one in the first column and two in the second column yes we have so one in the first column two in the second column next again one and two yes i have one in this column in the first and two in the second column so see our first column is over now 
since this is over now let's move on to the next three okay so in this again check one in this column and two in this column correct again we got the group now for the next one you check one in this column and two in this column do we have two in this column no just make sure that you don't get confused with this that is one in this column and you cannot skip this and go to the third column you have to take the consecutive column okay so do we have any dots in the next consecutive column no therefore again the same method that is we will cancel one from this that is we will give this one to the next one and one when it goes or moves to the next column it will be represented as number 10 correct so one two three four five six seven eight nine and ten now can we group as one and two yes so one in this and two in this again one in this two in this one in this two in this one in this and two in this okay so now you can see this column also we have completely done it correct so this we have moved therefore this is no longer there because this has been moved this is also moved so this is also no longer there so we have this final then now this particular column is over so we will move to the third column so in the third column you can see yes i have one in this column and two in this column again i have one in this column and two in this column next you can see we have one dot remaining but do we have any consecutive column remaining this is ones tens hundreds and thousands before one do we have any other column no we don't have therefore this one that we have this cannot be moved anywhere so this becomes what this becomes the remainder of the questions now how to find the question how to write the question that is we have to find the beginning in each column so in this column we have two new beginnings in this column we have one two three four five five new beginnings and in the third column we have two new beginnings and do we have anything in the fourth column no so in this column we don't have any beginning and we have one dot remaining which cannot be moved anywhere so it becomes a remainder therefore our quotient is 252 and our remainder is how many dots do we have one and our remainder is number one i hope this was pretty clear to everyone that is whenever you don't have the particular number of numbers in the consecutive column what we have to do we have to move one dot from the previous column and when we move one dot that particular one dot will represent how many dots 10 dots okay i hope this is clear now let's do the last question the type in which each and everyone had a doubt so let's do it so the question is three four zero divided by number eight okay three four zero divided by number eight so first step is what for three we have to draw three dots for four we have to draw four dots and for zero we will not draw any dots correct zero doesn't have any number so no dots for this now we you can see that we have eight over here that is we have to divide this number with number eight we have eight over here and we have three over here so traditional method just for your reference i'm showing this so traditional method 340 divided by number 8 so 8 first what you will do you will check with the first number whether 8 will divide number 3 can 8 divide number 3 no therefore what we usually do we take two numbers together correct now we will check whether 8 can divide 34 yes 8 can divide number 34 so the same method we are using here also that is the same method that is we are moving the number forward we are moving that is we are giving to the next column so that it becomes 34 same method we will be using so in this also what you have to do is 340 divided by 8 thus 3 can 8 divide 3 no 8 cannot divide number 3 in any how in any pattern if we group whether this 3 will become number 8 no therefore what we will do all these three numbers what we will do we will move forward we will move forward to the next column because these three sitting over here can't do anything we can never get number eight or the group cannot be formed with number three okay eight eight groups cannot be eight dots group cannot be formed with number three therefore what we will do all these three we will shift forward so that we get 34 and you know that for each dot when we move forward it will be how many dots 
Single dot will represent 10 dots. Therefore, 3 into 10 will be how many? 30. Correct? So, for each dot. So, for the first dot, I will draw 10 dots. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 and 10. Again, 1, 2, 3, 4. And again, 10 dots. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 and 10. Okay. So, all these three. We have cancelled and we shifted it over to the next column. So, I hope you might have understood why we shifted because in the traditional method also what we do. If it is not divisible with that particular number, we will take two numbers together. Correct? So, same method we are following here also. Now, you can see we can form its group. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So, this is one group. Next, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Second group. Then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Third group. And 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Fourth group. Now we have two more remaining. With two, can we do anything? No, we can't form eight. Correct? Eight group we cannot form. Therefore, do we have any other column remaining? Yes, we also have a ones column remaining, correct? That is having a zero. Therefore, the same method, that is these two dots, what we will do? We will move it forward to the next column. So, each dot will represent how many dots? 10 dots. Therefore, these two dots will become how many? 10 plus 10, that is 20 dots. So, in this, we will have 20 dots. So, I made 10 and 10, that is 20. So, this I will just cancel it. Now, we will check, can I make 8? Yes. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. This is 1. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. This is 2. Second one. And we have 4 dots remaining. Now, check, can I move these 4 dots somewhere? No. We don't have any other column remaining to be forward, right? Therefore, these four dots will be what? These four dots will be the remainder. Remainder will be number four. And how do we write the quotient? Yes. In this column, do we have any new beginnings? No. Next, in this column, one, two, three, and four new beginnings. And in the last, that is one space, you have one and two. Therefore, your quotient is what? Quotient is 42 and the remainder is number four. I hope this was pretty clear to everyone. So this is how we do that is whenever we are not able to divide that particular number with this number. What do you have to do? We have to move it forward. So each dot, how many does it represent? 10 dot when it is moved forward to the next column. So I hope now all the three types using dot method is clear to everyone. That is first which is direct division and second we have remainder and Moving forward and the third one, the number doesn't get divisible. So in that also we have to move forward and in that type we also have remainders as well as we have quotient. So I hope this was uh, useful, this video was useful and if you like the video please do like and share and in the next video which will be uploaded tomorrow in that I'll be solving all the questions asked by you. So until then it's bye from Reena.